Hello YouTube viewers. In this video, I'm going to show you how to lay out and actually build a firebox. There are six pieces that we have to cut. The bottom plate, the side plate, and the two back plate. It's all start with a simple plate, 3 inch by 5 inch. Already have pre drill hole. Okay. Cost about 88 cents at Home Depot or low. Okay. So I'm going to label to build the back plate first. To do that, I'm going to need two pieces. I will label them back left and back right. On the back right plate, I will need to cut the interlocking slot. This is from the middle of the plate all the way up. So this line here, over here. And I choose to cut, make my cut right through the center of the hole from that edge to that edge. For the bottom air hole, I choose to go from roughly about this air point to the, and that point to about that high. Again, I'm just simply eyeballing. So that will be the cut I will making for the bottom air hole. For the top notch, I just simply mark it out while saving this hole. I don't want to I want to save that for my support rod. So that's basically the back right plate. We can do the same thing for the back left plate, except that the interlocking slot will be different. On the back left plate, we want to do this cut to interlock with that side right there. And we want to do this cut. Okay. Well, since the um, air hole for the back left and back right, as well as the top notch are the same, uh, I don't need to mark it because I, when I cut them, I will put one right on top of another and cut them at the same time. So that will be the layout for the two back plate. For the side plate, I will need two more pieces. And since they are identical, I simply mark one of them. Okay. Uh, this slot is the still the interlocking slot. This slot is to accept the front plate. If it will be much shorter and only go from there to roughly the second row of hole. It doesn't go all the way to the third row. Yeah. So somewhere from the bottom edge, I mark three quarter inch. Again, the dimension is not very critical, but three quarter inch is where I want to be. And I want to make sure that I cut this slot here to accommodate the bottom plate. So the two plates will be cut at the same time with those cut. Later, when we do the so-called finishing touch, I will add a two little notch here on top here and here for the support rod. For the bottom plate, I need to cut two Cut off two strip of quarter inch. Uh, again, you can measure exactly, or I just simply eyeballing it from here, and I need this one to be about one inch. That's a piece that will be cut off. Okay. 
I want the tongue that go into the side plate to be one and a half inch. So roughly there, and then we'll cut off that piece. Likewise for this side. Roughly that will be the cut for the bottom plate. This is the two corner that will go into the back plate. The hole will be enlarged later. Again, we want to cut all the way to this hole here. Likewise on this side. Okay. And uh, to make wood fitting easier, we're going to cut a V-notch on top again. I choose to do it. It's not critical. I want to save this hole. So I'm going to do roughly that. That will be the cut for the top feet front plate. The bottom feet front plate is similar. The uh, side slot doesn't go as high, it only go up to the middle hole. And again, in the top, I'm basically doing the same V-notch. And at the bottom, I guess, I will save these two holes here, pick that point between that row and that row, draw a line somewhere and pick from there, save the hole, that will be the cut. Again, I'm just simply eyeballing but you get the idea. This piece will be cut out, that piece will be cut out. But that's all the layout for all the plate. Okay, so this is the front plate for bottom feeding. <laughs> this is the front plate for top feeding. The two side plates are exactly the same, so that's why I only mark one. We'll make cut, slot, cut, two little notch. The back plate, but the triangular cut will be the same for both plates. So that's why I only mark one on the, this one. But the slot will be different. So I have to cut this slot separately. And finally the bottom plate. I just notch out this area, that area, that area, and that area. Roughly this is one inch, one and a half inch, and whatever the rest. rest. The width here is about a quarter inch. Well that's all for the layout. Once the slot are cut and the holes are drilled and the edge are deburred and smooth so that it doesn't cause a safety hazard, here's what the plates look like. The back left and the back right plate fit together like that, like this. So that's how they fit. Uh, in the layout video, I forgot to mention these two slots. <clears throat> uh, from here to there is three quarter of an inch, and it go all the way from the edge to the second hole. This is to support the bottom plate. The left and the right plates are simple cut, except for the slot at the bottom for the bottom plate. Is a, I have to use a plunge cut and uh, finish out with the Dremel tools. The bottom plate, the central hole are here are drilled to 3 of an inch. They could be made larger. Okay. 
it fit into the two slot at the corner and the two slot on the side. The top feet front plate for simple cut. Fit in just like that. When this plate is all the way down, it pull in the side plate and hold the bottom plate in place. Give the structure, the whole stove a rigid structure. Likewise, the bottom feet front plate leave enough room to feed the wood from the bottom. Uh, the top edge of this front plate is the same level as the side plate. The holes are made to accommodate the size of the support rod. I enlarge as many as I think I will need. That's it for the assembly, for the layout and construction of the $6 DIY firebox stove.